Thanks for tuning in to another Make Your Mark Monday episode. Today we're talking about keyword match types, specifically within the Google AdWords keyword tool. Um, a lot of times we'll see that people will come to us and they'll, they'll usually have pulled some numbers from the Google AdWords keyword tool and, uh, and they'll have um, they'll basically say, okay, look, I've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of searches going on every month for this particular keyword, and, um, and we want to rank for those. We've done a little bit of research to figure out how much traffic we can get, depending on what position we're in and, and whatnot. So wanted to touch base just briefly about match types and understanding match types as you're trying to um, estimate the amount of search traffic that you can receive. Uh, basically, you've got three different types, um, or three different match types within the Google AdWords keyword tool. You have broad, phrase, and exact. And we'll get into what negative and modified broad match are in just a moment. But broad match is basically um, any combination of these two words, any synonyms, any order, any individual word um, that that is included in those. So it's basically, you know, if I were to type in Oceanside Scuba, it would take into account a bunch of synonyms, a bunch of, uh, you know, maybe it's Oceanside, um, California or Oceanside, Oregon. And, uh, and if I own a, a scuba shop in Oceanside, California, I probably don't want to be showing up for the Oceanside, Oregon ones, um, especially if I have to pay for those in the pay-per-click environment. But I definitely don't want to be estimating my search traffic based off of those. So phrase match then makes that, you know, makes that number, the search volume, a little bit smaller. But what it is is it is that specific phrase in that order. It might have something in front or behind it. So the best Oceanside scuba shop that might uh, might be included in phrase match so how many times somebody searches for for that long phrase or, or something else but it's basically oceanside scuba in that exact order but it may have something before it or after it now exact match is how many people type in just oceanside scuba with nothing before it nothing after it and that phrase is exactly as it is written right there oceanside scuba nothing in the middle oceanside california nothing like that okay so that's exact match um, as far as negative keywords go, you know, if I own a scuba shop in, in California, I'll probably want to put into, if I'm doing the advertising portion, I'll probably want to put in a negative keyword um, into the advertising campaign or into the ad group that basically excludes anytime someone's searching for Oregon. All right. Um, modified broad match basically says that every single word that has a plus before it needs to be included when someone searches. Um, so if I've got, you know, plus Oceanside plus Scuba, if someone searches for Oceanside California Scuba or Scuba in Oceanside California or Scuba Shops in Oceanside California, any of those will show up because it's got the word Scuba in there and the word Oceanside. But it'll also take sort of close synonyms to Oceanside and to, um, and to Scuba. One of the things you'll have to watch out for, you know, in this particular example, if you're doing Oceanside, Google may um, may also take Oceanside and translate you know by the ocean into a synonym of Oceanside or on the ocean side or on the ocean or on the beach those all might be considered synonyms to ocean side so you'll have to take those into account as well so ocean side scuba you're probably gonna have a lot of searches for that broad match but if you really want to estimate how much search traffic is available to you you might want to consider using phrase or exact match to really help you narrow in on uh, on specifically what that is um, on Wednesday, we'll dive in a little bit deeper in our webinar on how to use um, the specific match types to exclude certain things from um, from showing when you're for, when you're advertising, and uh, and we'll dive deep, especially into modified broad match to show you um, some of the things that you can create or some of the keyword lists that you can create there. Thanks again for tuning in.